Good morning, everyone. I'm Carol Esposito Corcione, and I will present a joint work between the University of Salento and the University of Bergamo. At first, I would like to spend a few words to describe Salento and its university. University of Salento is located in Lecce, the main town in Salento in southeastern Italy. I am part of a research group focused on the rheological thermal and transport properties of innovative polymeric materials, and in particular of polymer-based nanocomposites, biopolymers, largely employed in industrial applications, such as additive manufacturing. At the University of Salento, we have laboratories for material production, study of durability, thermal analysis, and rheological and mechanical characterization. We also have many 3D printing techniques, like stereolithography and fused deposition modeling. In this project, the Department of Cultural Heritage of UniSalento and the Department of Engineering and Applied Sciences of the University of Bergamo are also involved. One of the most actual questions that requires answers from academic and industrial researchers is referred to the possibility of reusing scraps, according to the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Starting from these considerations, the aim of the present work is the analysis of the possibility to reuse different kinds of industrial wastes to produce composite filaments for 3D printing. The first step of the work consisted in the extrusion of composite filament starting from PLA, Lecce stone or olive wood wastes. In this slide, the extrusion processing parameters are reported. Some pictures of the composite filaments are also shown. From a calorimetric analysis, it was possible to measure the glass transition temperature and the degree of crystallization of all filaments, evidencing that the presence of the stone waste is able to greatly increase both values in comparison to those of the neat PLA. The thermogravimetric analysis confirms the presence of 50% by weight of waste in the composite filament. On the other hand, the rheological test shows a pseudoplastic behavior of the composite filament, with a viscosity that still remains suitable for the 3D printing process. In this slide, some simple examples of 3D printed objects with the waste filaments are shown. The 3D models were also treated with a protective coating in order to increase their durability. The protective product is a patent of the University of Salento, and its application allows to increase the superficial hydrophobicity of the treated samples. Finally, an LCA analysis was performed by University of Bergamo, demonstrating the real utility to reuse Lecce stone weights for this specific application. In conclusion, this study demonstrates the possibility to use Apulian local area waste in order to design new composite materials to create Made in Puglia 3D printed object through FFF technology. The FFF printing technique was found to be adequate for the purpose, thanks to its advantages, reuse of the materials, the reduction of carbon footprint, the extension of the life cycle of a material and the reduction of production and disposal costs. The PLA and less composite filament leads to a great reduction in environmental impact, being partially biodegradable and a reduction in costs, as demonstrated by the LCA analysis. Finally, the FFF technique can be considered a sustainable solution. Thank you for your attention.